Okay, so today we're going to be doing adding negative numbers. So far in your math career, you've only dealt with positive numbers. Like if you saw the number um, 12, this was automatically considered a positive number. There's no sign in front of it or anything, and it's a positive number. Now, you're going to start seeing numbers with a sign in front of it. Plus sign, positive, subtraction sign, a negative number. If you have a positive number, this means you have. You have like money. I always like to use money for positive and negative numbers. If you have a negative sign in front of your number, that means you owe money or you're in debt. Okay, so if you look at 1C number 1, they're basically wanting you to put have or owe in front or in the blank. So if you have a positive 16, positive means you have money. Okay, so have goes there. Number two on page C, you have a positive five. Positive symbol means you have five. So whether you have five pieces of candy or five dollars, whatever it is you want to think of. Okay, number three, this is a negative sign in front of the 13. So this means negative 13. Negative means you owe. You owe money, you're in debt, you owe whatever it is you owe. Okay, so negative is you owe. Number four, negative two. So negative means you owe, so you owe two. Number five, negative 71. Negative means you owe, or you're in debt. So you owe 71. Number six, positive three. So positive means you have, so you have three. Have three dollars, okay? Now let's take that idea into adding and subtracting, or today we're just going to be doing adding positive and negative numbers. So today we're just going to be doing adding. So all your symbols here in the middle is going to be adding, okay? But it's really important to look at your symbol in front of your number because the symbol in front is going to tell you, do you have that or do you owe that, okay? So on page D, number four, this says, you have 24, because positive says you have 24. So you think of it like this. I have 24, and then I'm going to add, and then this positive means I have 10. So I have 24, and then I'm gonna add 10 more, okay? So essentially, this is the same as 24 plus 10. I have 24, I'm gonna add 10 more. 24 plus 10, if you need to do it all over off to the side, you know this, then you'll know. Then that is a positive. If you have and you're adding more and you have more, you have and you're having more means you're still going to have, so positive 34. It's really important to put this sign there, okay? So you need to show if your answer is a positive answer or a negative answer. Do you have money or do you owe money? Okay, looking at number 7 on D. So again, you have 42, then you're adding having more. So you have 42, now you're adding having more. So that just, so it means in the end, you're going to still have money. That's the first thing you should determine. Are you gonna have money in the end or are you gonna owe money in the end? Well, if I have 42 and then I'm gonna add 54 more, that means I'm going to have money in the end. 2 and 4 is 6. 4 and 5 is 9. It means I have 96. Go to page C. Look at number 9. Here you have 17. Positive means you have. Then you're adding on all of these problems in this lesson you're going to be adding. Okay? So you have 17. Now this has a negative number in it. What does negative number mean? It means you owe. So you have 17 and then you owe $5. Okay, so you have $17 in your pocket and then you're going to owe $5, okay? So in the end, are you gonna have money or are you gonna owe? You're still gonna have, because if you have 17 and then you give away five, this is your subtracting or giving away five, then basically what you're doing is when your signs are different, you're subtracting your numbers. And then the sign with the larger number is going to be your answer. 17 is larger than this, so my answer will be the sign with the largest number. And then we can do 17 minus 5. So 17 minus 5, 12. So if I have 17 and then I give away 5, it means I still have, I should still have $12. Okay, so 
Okay, now go to 1D number 5. I have 8. Okay, I'm still adding, but then I'm owing 15. If I have 8 and then I owe 15, am I going to have money in the end or am I going to owe money in the end? Well, I'm still going to owe because my larger number has the negative. So then I can determine I'm going to owe, so my answer is going to be negative. So when your signs are different, then your answer will be the sign of your larger number. And then what you do with these two numbers is subtract them. If I have 8 and then I give away 15, I need to subtract to find out how much money am I still going to owe. 15 minus 8 is 7. So then this says I'll have negative 7, which means I still owe $7. I'm still in debt 7. Okay, let's look at number 9 on D. My signs are different. One is negative, one is positive. Here I owe, here I add. So I'm going to owe 19, and then I'm adding someone giving me 8. If I owe $19 and someone gives me 8, am I still going to owe money in the end or am I going to have money in the end? Well, I'm still going to owe because if I owe 19 and someone still gives me 8, I haven't covered all that debt yet. Okay? The sign of the larger number is going to be your answer. I'll still owe money, so I'm going to be in negative. I'm still going to be in debt and still owe money. So if I owe 19 and someone gives me 8, I can subtract these two numbers. When your signs are different, you can subtract the two numbers. Okay? So then 19 minus 8 is 11. And then because I owe 19 and someone's only going to give me 8, then I still owe $11. Okay, now look at 1D6. Something I want to point out about the problem that we're about to do. Here, it's a negative 9, which means I owe. Then I'm adding, and then I've got another negative number of negative 6. So what this means is I owe 9, and I'm adding, owing more. So if I owe 9, and, because adding also means and, so if I owe 9, and I owe 6, in the end, am I going to owe or I'm going to have? I'm going to owe. O9 plus I'm owing 6 means in the end I'm going to owe. So when your signs are the same, then you just need to add the numbers. I owe 9 and I owe 6. Well, how much am I going to owe altogether? 9 plus 6, 15. So I owe 15 altogether. Okay, now look at D11. I owe plus I owe more. Okay? So if I owe plus I owe more, I'm still going to owe in the end. Well, how do I know how much I owe? I've got to get the total of the amount that I owe. How do you get the total? By adding the two numbers together, 13 plus 12. If you need to do it off to the side, do it off to the side. Okay, that means I would owe 25. Look at on page E, number 10. I owe 68 plus I owe 41. So that means if I owe plus I owe more, I'm still going to owe in the end. Well, I have to get the total of what those are together. So to get the total of what I owe, I owe 68 and I owe 41, so I've got to get those total. But since I owe and I owe, then I'm going to owe in the end. 8 plus 1, 9, 6 and 4, 10. So I'm going to owe 109. I owe here plus I owe more.